Hello everyone, I want to share about the defined functional food. Functional food are ingredients that offer health benefit that extend beyond their nutritional value. Some types contain supplement or additional ingredient that are designed to improve health. The concept originated from Japan on 1918, which is the agency started approving the food with the proven to get the better health. Some examples include food fortified with vitamins, mineral, probiotics, and fibers. Nutrient-rich ingredients like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and grain are considered as functional food. Food, for instance, that contain fiber, which is called beta-glucan, which is, has a good for reduced inflammation, heart health, and enhance immune function. Fruits and vegetables are packed with antioxidants, which have beneficial compounds that help to protect against disease. Functional food are generally separated into two categories, which is conventional and modified. Conventional food are natural, which is full food ingredients that are rich in important nutrients like vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, heart health fats. Modified food have been fortified with additional ingre ingredients such as vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and fibers. Now we move on to the health benefits of functional foods. Chemical compounds present in functional foods such as carotenoids, flavonoids, anthocyanin, and polyphenols could provide antioxidant properties that fight free radical damage. Besides, functional foods reduce inflammation. Functional foods also aid in disease prevention by balancing cholesterol level and blood pressure, as well as regulating habits. For instance, regularly eating nuts or seeds is a good way to obtain healthy fats and fiber. Protect your heart and brain. Omega 3s may help lower your risk of heart disease plus they support brain function. Fermented foods such as kimchi and yogurt, protecting the lining of gastrointestinal tract, helping with absorption of nutrients, preventing common digestive issues and fighting infections. Intakes of herbs or spice which contain antimicrobial properties, probiotic bacteria such as streptococcus and lactobacillus are able to exclude and reduce the growth of pathogens. Next is the importance of the functional food for the personal. The functional food will reduce the chance of developing any disease in the body of the person. The functional food provides beneficial health properties to pupil and will let the pupil have a healthy body. When the pupil has a healthy body, it will improve the physical and the mental health to adjusting the energy level and mood. At the same time, it will improve all the aspects of life. For the community or country, the functional food will provide a positive outcome on public health. When the health of a pupil in a country was improved, it will reduce the death case of disease and cancer in the country every year. The examples of the disease and cancer are obesity, heart attack, high blood pressure, lung cancer, cerebral vascular disease, and others. Other than that, it also will increase the pupil awareness of healthy. The functional food usually a little bit pricier than non-functional food. So, when the functional food had introduced and brought by the many people in a country, it will expand the wellness economy community and increase the economy of the country.
okay next we move to the example of the functional food there are nine categories of the functional food the first one is, is green food uh, for example like spirulina barley grasses the second one is omega-3 food for example like salmon uh, mackerel sardine and the third one is high fiber food for example like fresh fruit um, whole grain and next is probiotic food which is um, Fermented or pressured food, for example, yogurt. And next is prebiotic food, which is these foods contain uh, high carbohydrate. And then uh, nut and seed, which is, for example, like chia seed, uh, almond, walnut. And next is spice, tea, and herbs, for example, like green tea, cinnamon, turmeric, ginger. And next is um, high antioxidant food, which is like berries, um, bright color of fruit or vegetable. Uh, and the last one is bone broth, which is this uh, food contain the high amino acid. So I give one example of the functional food with their benefit. For the first, uh, oatmeal. Oatmeal. Uh, contain the soluble fiber that can help lower the cholesterol level but some of the fun functional food uh, are modified to have benefit for example uh, orange juice orange juice have been fortified uh, with calcium uh, to bone health Hi, my name is Nur Zahira Binti Ismawi, S51047. Today, I will talk about functional food and health uh, in terms of market possibility. So, for your information, 30% of people consume functional food per week. And functional food is a big business due to three main factors, uh, which is the first main factor is increase of health-conscious consumer. For example, fermented food can help in human digestive, uh, increase human immunity and also the brain function. The second uh, key factor is the increasing demand for extend the life shelf of fresh food into the fermented food. And the third uh, key factor is the increasing of urbanization and also the purchasing power that shift their preference towards the functional food. Next one, we can see the market size uh, of fermented food and beverage market in 2018. We can see that the highest uh, market size uh, is from the uh, South, uh, it's from the Asia Pacific, Australia, and also the uh, North America. The medium uh, size of market uh, is from the U Russia and Europe, and Africa region, and also North America is still low in market size. In terms of revenue, supermarket uh, contribute almost two hundred and fifty billion dollar. Uh, towards this uh, segment. Uh, we, meanwhile, we can see that online store is the fastest growing segment uh, towards the forecast uh, period. We can see that this is due to the favorable discount that the online store provided uh, for the consumers to buy the functional food and the fermented food. Okay, this is the worldwide production of fermented food and we can see also the annual consumption of uh, different types of fermented food in different of country. Okay, this one we can see is the study, the recent study from Bouquet and his colleges uh, regarding the fermented vegetables that given the a significant impact towards the mortality rate, uh, the COVID-19 mortality rate uh, in 2020. So we can see that the consumption of uh, fermented vegetable um, shows the lowest mortality rate uh, in the Europe country, which have decreased the mortality rate to 35% and this is why the reason behind the increasing of market demands toward the functional food.
Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.